as I did with a juicy Smollett case. That was another example that sort of, I mean, that was the, it wasn't that kind of the ultimate trajectory of identity politics, because what you were saying, what he was saying to America was, I'm going to create the most unlikely, impossible, illogical scenario in the world, and I'm going to make America believe it, because they're so deranged that I can get away with it. And so it wasn't just, I'm African American, but I'm going to be African American and gay. I'm not just going to be African American and gay, I'm going to be African American and I'm going to hate Trump. I'm not going to be just African American and hate Trump, I'm going to be young and hip on empire. I'm not just going to do all that, but I'm going to be walking at 2 a.m. And I'm not just going to be walking at 2 a.m. I'm going to see two white guys who happen to be prowling around liberal Chicago. Not just two white guys are doing it. They're going to have a MAGA hat on. And they're not just going to have a MAGA hat on. Two white guys with a MAGA hat and liberal Chicago are going to say, we're going to prowl around because maybe Jesse Smollett, whom we immediately recognize and yell out, as the enemy of empire, because we always watch empire, and, you know, Bob says to Fred, let's go out and look for Jesse Smollett type people tonight, and by the way, let's take some lynch rope with us, and then Jesse, and if that's not enough, let's get bleach that, that freezes at five degrees, and we'll throw it and, and defy the laws of chemistry, it won't freeze in our case. And then not only will we do all that, we'll beat him up, and we're very big, but Jesse's, Juicy's very small, but he's a better fighter, and he's going to fight us off while he's got his sandwich in one hand and his cell phone in the other, recording the whole thing. That's what we were asked to believe, and the nation did. And so... It, I think that was a really... I think historians will look at that point and say that is about the limitations of identity politics and after that point it becomes a caricature.